We all know someone like her. Gorgeous, charming, smart. The girl everyone wants. Everything about her seems right. And she might be the perfect wife material. Except that whoever she dates gets their lives wrecked like what Germany did to Brazil in 2014. In this video, we'll be talking about the most scandalous woman of the 19th century and who has destroyed more men's lives than Pornhub. She is none other than Kim Kardashian. Oops, sorry, wrong century. She is none other than Lola Montez. Lola Montez, whose real name is Murray Gilbert, was born in Limerick, Ireland in 1818. As a young lady, Lola was a head turner and she loves attention. She decided to move to Paris and make a career out of dancing, where she succeeded using her charm. But in 1845, at the age of 27, her career started to decline. During this time in Paris, dancers get quickly replaced by younger and prettier girls as soon as they start aging. Sounds familiar in this day and age? So, to salvage her career, she turned into a courtesan, which is a euphemism for a hoe, and she became a very successful one. Arguably, the biggest slut of the century! Lola set her sights first on Alexandre Jugerer, owner of the biggest newspaper circulation of France. Lola Montes, similar to men who get featured at Chris Hansen's show, studied all of de Gerard's habits and routines. She then discovers that he loves to ride his horse every day, so one day, Lola rode with her horse and accidentally ran into him. They became close after that incident and soon they were riding together every day. If you know what I mean. <laughs> Lola and Dujarer started living together. With his influence, Lola's dancing career flourished again. But with the expense of his own career. Suddenly his business started to go downhill as his influential friends Avoided him because they think that Lola isn't on the same class as them. One day, Dujarer attended an extravagant party where he got into a fight with Jean Baptiste Rosmond de Bouvelon. F fuck is this name? It was reported that the cause of the fight was Bouvelon insulted Lola Montes. He then challenged him into a duel, but the next morning, Dujarer now thinking, Oh my god, what have I done? and tried to apologize, but nope, the duel continued. It wasn't so bad cause he just got shot and died. <laughs> Men with guns. Lola Montez, now devastated, left Paris for Munich. Lola thought that, hmm, I need a more powerful target? Get ready for a ride because this next target would be her most powerful target ever and it has the most chaotic outcome as well. He is none other than Ludwig I, the king of Bavaria. Lola is now faced with a dilemma. Her normal tactics won't work easily with a king because he probably has heaps of side chicks he can easily replace. She thought that the best way to get to Ludwig was through his aide-de-camp, Count Otto von Reckberg. Oh sorry, this is German so I have to say it like I'm angry. Count Otto von Reckberg notoriously known to be fond of pretty girls. One morning, while the Count was eating breakfast, Lola used her previous tactic and accidentally fell off her saddle and landed at Rackbird's feet. Rackbird, being a thirsty motherfucker, rushed quickly to help her. Faster than you swiping left on a land wheel in Tinder. There, Rackbird was enchanted and promised that he would introduce Lola to the king. He then set Lola for an audience with the king. At the anteroom, she overheard the king saying, Meh, I'm too busy to meet some low-class, famous, seeking peasant. So Lola has to go plan B. She puts a shawl. Fucking puss. Why do I fucking keep on saying puss? She pushed aside the centrist and entered the room anyway. While entering the room, the front of her dress got torn off of course accidentally, and exposed her bare breast. Everyone was astonished, especially King Ludwig, 
and she was finally granted an audience. 50 hours after this, Lola finally made her debut on the Bavarian stage as a dancer. And oh boy, she fucking sucks. Reviews were terrible, but that didn't stop Ludwig from arranging more performances. King Ludwig is now fucking helpless and deeply in love with Lola. In his own words, he was bewitched by her. He became Lola's sugar daddy. He showered Lola with gifts, wrote poetry for her, and even bought her an expensive apartment. You reckon this was enough for Lola? Oh boy, you are wrong. Lola was also promoted as a countess and had a palace built for her. Her newly gained power got into her head and started to dabble into politics, and she began advising Ludwig. She also abused her power like this one time, where she slashed an old man with her riding crop, because he was riding too slow in front of her. And you know what would happen if you criticize Lola? You know that annoying office mate of yours who loves sucking up to your boss so he can be as powerful as him as well? She was basically that. This brought chaos to the whole kingdom. Riots broke out and the once peaceful kingdom is now on the verge of civil war. The once loved King Ludwig is now the most hated person in Bavaria. And by 1848, Ludwig can't withstand the pressure anymore so she ordered Lola to leave Bavaria immediately. A month after that, King Ludwig was forced to abdicate as well. After bringing chaos into a peaceful country, you would surely learn your lesson, right? Well, not for Lola. She moved to England and set her sights on George Trafford Hield, a young army officer. He was a very handsome young bloke who has a promising career in the army, and he can get all the chicks he wanted, but she also fell under the spell of Lola, who was 10 years older than her. They got married in 1849, but soon, Lola Montes was arrested for bigamy because she was once married when she was 19 but never officially divorced. She skipped bail and they moved to Spain. Once in Spain, they got into a fight where Lola slashed him. He had enough of her and thinking to himself, Hey, I have a promising career in England. I shouldn't throw that away just for this girl. So he went back to England, only to find out that he lost his position in the army. This drove him to depression and after that he died at a young age in a boating accident. Oh, and to picture how infectious Lola Montez's misfortunes are, one man tried to publish her autobiography but soon went bankrupt. In 1853, she moved to California and guessed what she did. You guessed it right for sure. She married a man named Pat Hall. Let's give her the benefit of a doubt. This time, she might have learned her lesson for sure. Haha, <laughs> nope. She left him for another man. This drove him to depression that lasted till he died. At the age of 41, this time for real, Lola finally found some inner peace. She gave away all of her clothes and turned to God. She then toured America lecturing about religious topics, but looks like Locke wasn't really on Lola's side. Two years later, she died of bad blood. That's a slang for syphilis for you neckbeard virgins out there. Okay, so before we judge Lola Montez as a filthy, dirty, disgusting, skanky, brutal, bottom feeding trash bag ho I think there's something to admire about her. Even though her methods aren't good to follow, I think we should admire how she rose from the bottom to the top. She was a woman born in the 19th century and as you all know, they don't get a lot of opportunities. All those opportunities she had, they weren't handed over to her. She has to fight for them and for that, she gained my respect. Hi guys, if you like this video, please, 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 please leave a like and subscribe to my channel so I can make more videos for you. I'll be posting more history related content and thank you very much. I love you all. Peace out, yo.